Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my second character profiles video. This one is about the Iron Bull, the one-eyed Kunari mercenary who is a new companion in the upcoming Dragon Age Inquisition. Apart from the Iron Bull being a complete and total badass, what else do we know about him? Well in this video you're going to find out everything you want to know about this huge Kunari warrior, so stick around. The Iron Bull is new to the Dragon Age franchise, therefore the devs have been trying to give us lots of information about the Iron Bull and his past. Here is some of it. On the official Dragon Age website, the Iron Bull has a blurb about his history and character. Here is what it reads. Kunari are known across Thedas as the brutal horned giants who descended from the north to nearly conquer their continent. These ruthless followers of a harsh philosophy enforce their will through the Ben Hasrath, their spies and secret police. One brilliant agent did it all, hunting spies, rebels and deserters, until the day he finally broke. To preserve a valuable asset, his superiors sent him to Orlais to observe and report, and the Iron Bull was born. Today Bull's charges are famous mercenaries, fiercely loyal to their huge Kunari warrior, who leads them into battle and taverns with equal enthusiasm. The Iron Bull still sends the Ben Hasrath reports, but years of living outside the Kunari rules have him wondering which identity is really him. Whoever he is, he is more than happy to join the Inquisition and get paid to kill demons. David Gator, lead writer of Dragon Age Inquisition, has said that the Iron Bull fears nothing but his past. In the blurb that I have just read you, it clearly states that the Iron Bull was a brilliant Ben Hasrath agent until one day when he finally snapped. So this must be what he fears from his past. What did he do when he snapped? Did he do something similar to Sten like in Dragon Age Origins, or is this something completely different? Why was he sent to Orlea? Surely we will find out this information in Dragon Age Inquisition when it finally releases November 21st. But for now, we can only speculate. Bull's Charges Mercenary Group are also mentioned in this blurb. This is the group that Iron Bull created when he was sent to Orlea. The Iron Bull is the leader of this group, therefore I cannot see him abandoning the group to join the Inquisition. Therefore I believe the Bull's Charges will join the Inquisition as a minor ally, hopefully to gather information or the mercenaries will join our army to help the Inquisition's strength. The Iron Bull will apparently be hired by the Inquisitor to fight the demons invading Thedas as a result of the breach. Therefore, I can also see all of Bull's charges being recruited into the Inquisition and hired to join with the army. Otherwise, they will be left without a leader and won't know what to do in all there. This next section of my video will be about the voice actor of the Iron Bull, who is Freddie Prince Jr. Some of you may recognise this name from the Mass Effect series, that is because he voiced James Vega. I'm including this section in my video as Freddy revealed many things about the Iron Bull's character. Freddy has stated in an interview about the Iron Bull, claiming that he is not as flat as all the other Kunari, he is the complete opposite, he shows more emotion than any Kunari we have ever seen in the Dragon Age franchise. He also goes on to say that the Iron Bull is only really afraid of one thing, and that's demons. He's scared of them because they possess people, even Kunari. Freddy then goes on to say that the Iron Bull has sex with anyone, and then compares him to James Bond. He is the James Bond of the Kunari. In my last video, I mentioned that Cassandra was described as the Believer, while the Iron Bull is described as the Muscle. Recent news about the Iron Bull's romance options has pleased a lot of Dragon Age fans. Originally, the Iron Bull's romance was race gated to a Kunari. This means that only a Kunari could romance him due to his height. Originally, there was also a special dialogue option with Iron Bull explaining why he could not romance your Inquisitor unless you were a Kunari. However, thanks to a group of animators and the cinematic designer John Epler, this issue has been fixed. When the game launches, Iron Bull will now be a romance option for all races. He is also for both genders, he is a bisexual. The Iron Bull is not only the first bisexual Kunari romance, he is also the first Kunari romance in the Dragon Age series. Iron Bull has also featured in promotional pictures for Dragon Age Inquisition with the quote that says, What's the most pieces you've ever cut someone into in a single swing? I'm up to three, but I have some ideas. In the post E3 demo of Dragon Age Inquisition, we can also hear some party banter between Sarah and the Iron Bull. The Iron Bull proposes to throw Sarah into the air and she rains down arrows on the enemy. Sarah does not like this idea and the Iron Bull responds that only her and Varric are small enough, however Varric is quite dense. I'd like to finish this video by talking about Iron Bull and how he will play gameplay wise. 
The Iron Bull is a two-handed warrior and also looks like a tank, but that is all we know. What specialization do you guys think he should have? I myself can see him being a Reaver or a Berserker specialization as he seems quite brutal and as he is a Kunari, look at those muscles, you could see him smashing someone's skull with those. That's the end of the video, thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, subscribe, I'd love to have a discussion about what you think his character will be like, see ya, thanks for watching.